Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for October 6th, 2024, from the book of Colossians, Steadfast Steps in the Savior's Path. Previously, we heard about the importance of standing firm in faith and maintaining spiritual discipline. We explored Paul's joy in witnessing the Colossians' good order and firmness of faith, despite being physically absent from them. So the devotional emphasized the supernatural unity among believers through the Holy Spirit and encouraged maintaining a structured approach to our spiritual lives. It concluded by reminding us of our connection to the larger body of Christ, united in devotion to Him regardless of physical distance. So let's continue with the book of Colossians. From Colossians chapter 2, verse 6. Therefore, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. In our Christian journey, we often encounter moments of uncertainty, doubt, or temptation. It is during these times that we must remember the foundation of our faith and the path we've chosen to follow. The Apostle Paul in his letter to the Colossians provides us with a powerful reminder and exhortation in this short verse. When Paul says, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, he's taking us back to the moment of our conversion. The time when we first embraced Jesus as our Savior and Lord. This reception of Christ is not merely an intellectual assent to certain facts about him, but a wholehearted acceptance of his lordship over our lives. It's a moment of faith, repentance, and surrender. But Paul doesn't stop there. He goes on to say, so walk with him. The phrase carries with it and the idea of continual action, a lifestyle that reflects our initial commitment. To walk in Christ means to live our daily lives in a manner consistent with his teaching and character. It's a call to ongoing discipleship, to allowing the reality of Christ's lordship to permeate every aspect of our existence. So this verse reminds us that our Christian life is not static. It's not enough to have a moment of faith in the past. We are called to a dynamic, growing relationship with Christ. Just as a tree must not only be planted, but also continually nourished in order to grow strong and bear fruit, so too must our faith be constantly cultivated and strengthened. Walking in Christ involves several key aspects. First, it requires ongoing study and meditation on God's holy word. We need to continually immerse ourselves in scripture, allowing it to shape our thoughts, attitudes, and actions. Second, it involves regular prayer and communion with God maintaining an open line of communication with our Heavenly Father. Third, it means actively participating in the body of Christ, the Church, where we can encourage and be encouraged by fellow believers. Furthermore, walking in Christ means striving to imitate His character in our daily lives. It means showing love, compassion, and forgiveness to others even when it's difficult. It means standing firm in our faith, even in the face of opposition or ridicule. It means being willing to serve others sacrificially, just as Christ served us. As we walk in Christ, we find that our faith deepens, our understanding grows, and our lives are transformed. We become more resistant to false teachings and worldly temptations. We find strength to face life's challenges and comfort 
in times of sorrow, and most importantly, will grow ever closer to the one who loved us enough to die for us. So let us take Paul's teaching to heart. Let us remember how we first received Christ with joy and gratitude. And let us continue to walk in him daily, allowing his life to flow through us and change us more and more into his image. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.